Hi everyone, this is Kevin from Caribbean Crypto Tips and today's video is all about DeFi on Algorand. I want to talk to you guys about a very new project that was recently released on mainnet called Tinyman. Now Tinyman is a Uniswap-like decentralized exchange and it's one of the first that I have seen that utilizes the fast, secure, cheap and energy efficient Algorand blockchain, creating an open and safe marketplace for traders, liquidity providers and developers. Their slogan is, the DeFi you were promised, and of course I think they are taking shots at Ethereum for their extremely high gas fees. Now let's have a look at their website. Please go and read the frequently asked questions and the documentation to learn more about Tinyman. Now as I mentioned before, they are utilizing the Algorand blockchain and you can see their roadmap here below along with a few tutorial videos which were very well done in my opinion. So now that we've had a quick overview of their landing page, we can go to their app by either clicking here or this icon in the top right hand corner. So this is what their AMM style decks looks like. Right now I have mine in dark mode, but honestly it looks good in both light or dark theme. Now the first thing you want to do with any decentralized exchange is to connect your wallet. And the beautiful thing about this DEX is that it allows for all three of the most popular Algorand wallets. Algorand Mobile Wallet, My Algo Wallet, or Algo Signer. And I think My Algo Wallet is a good choice because it has hardware wallet support. So once you click on it, you have to log in to your Algorand wallet. Or if you're new, you have to create a new wallet from scratch. But since I already have a wallet, I'll just enter my password. Now the first thing you have to do is do an opt-in transaction. And of course you have to enter your password once more. So there my wallet is connected and you can see my balance in the top right hand corner. Minus the negligible 0.001 Algorand fee. Let's make a swap on this platform. I want to convert my USDT into Algorand and all you have to do is enter the amount that I want to swap in this case $33 and that will give me 17.76 Algorand. I scroll down once I agree to the slippage tolerance and the swap fee all you have to do is click swap, confirm swap and sign the transaction with my Algo wallet. Our transaction is on the way. Let's see if it goes through. And just like that, my swap is complete. I now have 17 more algo in this wallet. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I certainly enjoyed the little animations that they had on the side during the swap process. And if you scroll down, it says I have some excess algo that I can claim now or later. Let's click on redeem. And let's do this transaction quickly to get my excess algo. And now I've claimed any excess algorand that was left over from the swap. Now I'm not going to lie to you guys, that process was smooth. I wish all cryptocurrencies were that way. Now let's move on to the other aspect of any DEX, that will be the liquidity pools. Now when you add liquidity to a decentralized exchange, what you're essentially doing is providing the exchange with all of the tokens necessary to do these swaps. And if you provide liquidity, you are rewarded with a percentage of the transaction fees of all the trades proportional to your share of the pool. Fees are added to the pool, accrue in real time and can be claimed by withdrawing your liquidity. Now in the past I would have added my liquidity to a number of decentralized exchanges like Uniswap for Ethereum, PancakeSwap for Binance Smart Chain and for Radium on Solana. So I have a good idea of what the experience should be, but let's see what the Algorand experience is on this decentralized exchange. So here are the popular pools that they have. You have USDC and Algo, USDT to Algo, USDC to USDT and yearly 
2 algo if you haven't watched my yuli video i recommend you guys go and watch that video as yuli is the first DeFi product on algorand that i made a video on so the first pool i'm going to experiment with is a usdt to algo pool if i could scroll back up i will add liquidity and i will choose my peers so it's usdt and algo so i must select usdt in the drop down and I can select how much of the Algorand to USDT that I want to add. So there's something very important I forgot to mention earlier. Now, I suspect most of you would know this, but just in case, for those that don't, the USDT that I'm referring to is the USDT that is on the Algorand blockchain. So not the USDT on Ethereum or any other cryptocurrency blockchain. The USDT I am swapping or I'm adding liquidity to is the usdt that is native on algorand and you can get this usdt from the kucoin exchange and a number of other exchanges but at present not on binance right now nor any of the other popular exchanges but i would recommend using kucoin or a few other exchanges that i will list in my description below so now that that piece of information is out of the way let's go and opt into this contract first and click sign all right so now i'm opted in i can add liquidity to this pool and for this quick tutorial i'm just going to add about 50 dollars worth of usdt and that should also be equivalent to 27 algo and all you have to do is scroll down now and click add liquidity confirm the supply and now the transaction using my algo wallet and once i sign it i wait for the transaction to go through and there's that cool animation you can see on the side once again and there you go i've added liquidity to this pool one other quick thing to mention is that you can view all these transactions on the algorand block explorer and don't forget to redeem your excess algo that is left over now if you head back over to the pools page you can see your liquidity here on the main dashboard and you can always go to manage that liquidity by adding or removing more tokens but other main feature of any decentralized exchange is are you the average person who would have created their own tokens to come here and create your own liquidity pools that's what i'm going to show you guys how to do now using the token that i would have created in my very first algorand video and that would be my caribbean crypto tips token in this case i have to go and click see all and you can see all of the tokens that i would have created this is my token and as you can see, it is an unverified asset. The site does a good job of giving you a warning. Remember, anyone can create assets and add them to this platform. So please be careful. So now that you've read that disclaimer, I'm gonna go and create my pool. I know it has been created. I can opt in to add liquidity to that pool. Once this transaction is complete, I should be able to add liquidity to my pool and this will allow others to come and buy and sell my token. Now adding liquidity for the first time is very similar to what we did just now with one exception. The platform does not know the price of my token. So when I type in one algo, it does not know the equivalent value of my token. That's because we are now adding the pair for the first time. So in this particular case, I am going to add about 25 algo and that is going to be worth about 50 of my token that means that for every algo that you're willing to spend you can swap it for two of my tokens and you can see the ratio down here so all we have to do now is go down and click add liquidity but please read all the warnings that you see here all that's left for me to do now is to confirm my supply And just like that, my tokens have been added to a pool. So now I can go back to the main page, swap. And now if anyone wants to buy my token, they can come down to this list and paste in the token ID or simply search for the ticker, which is CCT. Click on it 
and they can purchase my token. Again, one algo gives you two Caribbean crypto tips. Tokens, you can click swap and get that token in your wallet. Now the only use case I can see for my token is that if anyone wants to request a video from me, they can go and purchase my token and email me and show proof that they have purchased the token and I can do a video for them. Another use case that I can potentially see would be using this token as a reward system for my subscribers, for my viewers, for my fans. I can give away this token to anyone who provides the Algorand address in the comments. Now if you have your own super Algorand project idea, go and create your own token, add liquidity, let people go and buy and sell your token, and of course create awareness for your project. Now for me personally, I have other tokens that I would have created for other projects I'm working on. I'm going to give you guys more details about that in the future but one token is the game ticket token for a platform that I'm hoping to build in the future but I'll talk about that later. No spoilers here. In any case this brings me to the end of today's video. I do hope you found it useful and enjoyable. If you did remember to smash that like button, subscribe and share the video with your friend. Also leave a comment below and if you give your algorithm address I might give you some CCT tokens. Now this video was neither sponsored nor monetized. If you want to help my channel, you can feel free to donate some algo to this address on the screen so you can buy some coffee and keep on making more videos like this. This is Kevin from Caribbean Crypto Tips. Thank you guys for watching.